We're saying their names. Sorry, we need experienced men. But I've had plenty of experience. Can't use you, Mac. But listen, you're holding up the line. Sadly, this situation is often familiar to many Americans, whether it be bullies at school or anonymous comments on social media. Many people have experienced discrimination, whether they realize it or not. But what is discrimination? And how is it evidenced in our world today? And what is our government doing to stop this problem? And how is our legislator stepping in to neutralize this plague that is greatly affecting our generation and many before us? Now, here in America, we believe that all of us are equal and that each of us deserves the chance to pursue our own version of happiness. It's what led us to become a nation. It's at the heart of who we are as a people. Webster's Dictionary states discrimination as the unjust treatment of different categories of people or things. There are many types of discrimination, some that you may not even consider. Age, disability, sexual orientation, parental status, religion, national origin, pregnancy, sexual harassment, race, gender, and retaliation believe in the rights of all, the civil rights of all, a fair, equal, supportive workplace. We will not, we do not tolerate discrimination. Because when we look at discrimination, sometimes we look at discrimination as just race and race, but also there's discrimination laws against those that are with disabilities. So whether it's uh, for fair hiring practices, um, Accommodal places uh, to eat or even riding public transportation. There are, there are discrimination laws in place for uh, all Americans from all walks of life. It also tells of the great struggle for freedom and equality that prevailed against the sins of slavery and the injustice of discrimination. But in the future, the way our technology even improves, the more broadband we get into our rural communities, the more that um, our families might be fractured and however that means because of an economy or because of the virus that I believe that that fracture will allow more of the propensity for discrimination and other evils to come in. Racial discrimination has been around since the beginning of the United States. When the first settlers came they saw themselves as higher than the Native Americans and until the Civil War slavery was a common sight but even the abolishment of slavery did not stop the discrimination. And still today, there are different races being discriminated against. We have racial gaps in income, employment, schooling, poverty, and other areas. Uh, how much of it is due to discrimination? And how much of it is due to other factors? Americans on both sides, whether uh, it's Black Lives Matter or uh, American citizens that uh, stormed the Capitol, M Americans seem like we're being we're frustrated because we don't feel like we're being heard. The first generation of the civil rights movement has cured many of those forms of categorical exclusion. And now it's not the entire group that's being targeted, but rather the subset of the group. And after the Civil War, some important amendments were adopted to the Constitution, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th Amendments. And this all arose out of the, the issue of slavery. Discrimination due to sexual orientation has been around much longer than most people realize. It can be traced as far back as the Spartans. However, most hid their interests from society. It is not till more recently that people have openly come out as LGBTQIA+. I'd say I almost face discrimination every day um, when it comes to social media and personal conversations, but just from people not respecting my pronouns or the name that I've chosen or just seeing different, it might not be directed exactly towards me, but seeing different things online about um, transgender healthcare being taken away, trans people not being able to join the military. And I think to be helpful, I think we need to be open to a conversation about 
what's our role in either preventing that from happening or helping educate others about uh, keeping that from happening to others. I don't believe in segmenting a certain group in a population. I believe in our Constitution, which is all, which is equity. When you talk to people on Facebook that live all over the country, they just want to feed their families and be neighborly with their neighbors. Um, they don't care about race or sexual orientation. I think it's just being blown up. How is it that our society is so held back by misconceptions and judgments of those who are different than us? America is a melting pot and should be a place where we all to come together to celebrate our differences and unite as one country. The recent events dealing with discrimination have bruised the American ideals concerning what America actually stands for. My advice, we all become culture changers for the betterment of our society.